share with us something on, I mean, I love sales, I love closing, of course. Uh, talk to us about uh, how you run your sales team and how that integrates with your, your marketing. What's, what's, what have you learned that's been the most valuable? Yeah, sales is tough. I mean, sales is salespeople do really well and then they don't do well. And so we've always just worked on consistency. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I can relate. I can relate. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of like golf. You have a great day and then you're totally off the next day and you have no idea why. Um, yeah. And yeah. so salespeople, you know, we have a lot of meetings, sales meeting, keep them motivated. Um, we have sales decks, which are basically their guides that they use their own brand voice. They can go their own direction, but that's helped you know, increase consistency for sure. Do you um, do only on inbound point. or outbound or both? Inbound, all okay. inbound. We don't do any outbound. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when someone comes in into, into the system and then the, the, the salespeople call them and yep. you know, have the exactly. conversations. Got it. Yep. Follow Got the it. process. Yep. Got it. Makes sense. And well, I mean, with now all the marketing that you do with what's happening on social, what has been the most effective in terms of customer acquisitions for, for your company? For us, it's really the 360 approach, which is to do search for your very best um, keywords. So Got that's okay. inbound search. search. Yeah. Um, you, you need to layer that in with audience marketing. So we've really, we don't really do keywords anymore, actually. You know, mm. we've moved away from that. Now we do audiences. So you build audiences for us. It's audiences that are business owners. Yes. We target those audiences and run ads no matter what they're searching, try to become mm. you know, visible there. We do tons of social media ads. Um, I do. I personally do a lot of YouTube ads, similar to you, Dan. Um, yes. Yours are better, but I do a lot yeah, of those. Good, good, good. <laughs> and you've got a great YouTube channel. I mean, it's it's an awesome yeah. digital marketing channel. Yeah, it builds a lot of trust. Um, and then we've actually recently seen um, a lot of results from digital billboards, physical digital billboards on the highway, because there's a certain element of trust that's built from that. When somebody sees a Facebook ad, that doesn't bring as much trust because it's so easy to do now yeah, than a yes. billboard. When you see a billboard, you're like, that brand must be legit. So if somebody saw yeah. us on Facebook, so maybe they're in our retargeting campaign and then they see the billboard, they think, I need to call these guys. They're everywhere. They must be good. Uh, you know? Yes, yes. That, that's very creative. That's very creative. Now, although mm -hmm. consumers don't think about, hey, someone also pays money to, to have the billboard. But like you said, well, if they've got a billboard, it must must be legit, right? Exactly. Yeah. And and with, with the so a little bit organic, pay, search, all, all the all the things that you actually do with yeah. marketing three hundred and sixty, you, you teach what you do, right? Which which is which is awesome. Okay. Uh, with, with the with the the marketing with what's happening now, also you know with the retargeting with the with Apple right iOS. What what are you recommending to your your clients, right? Your your users, right? How do they adapt to some of these changes in terms of Facebook policy or iPhone or all yeah. these things is happening. Well, I mean, it it's kind of goes back to your brand is more important now than ever. And I think people kind of moved away from that with the inbound and the targeting and everything that you could do. But now you need to build the brand. If you're a local business, you need to be the Nike of your hometown. When somebody needs the products okay. or services you sell, okay. they need to think of you first. You need a rent space in their mind and that's branding. So what type of content are you creating that's actually valuable? You shouldn't be just jamming sales pitches down people's faces. How are you building a brand in your local community? So people, when they think of the HVAC company, they just can't help but think about yeah. you because you are just yes. literally everywhere adding value. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's really what we focus on is your brand so important, your logo. I mean, all the details are really, really important. And you just want to have that level of quality. And here again, that brings trust. We always say marketing is trust and traffic. You need the traffic yeah. and you need the trust. And so you're constantly doing, and that's why billboards are good because it actually builds trust. And so the more things you can do to build trust, the better. Mm. And are most of your users, JB, are they uh, from US or are they international? Like what, what's that breakdown like? Uh, they're mostly US, about 85%. And then we have about 15% outside the US, mostly English speaking. So Canada, Australia. Canada. Um, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And do you find that certain verticals you have, because business owners are very broad, like are there any mm -hmm. type of business owners that, okay, 20% of our client base actually come from like this type of businesses? Uh, about 30% of our customers are e-com, so they're 100% they're online, okay. um, selling anything you could think of online. And then mm. the remainder would be local businesses you'd see around town, plumbers, chiropractors, roofers, fitness professionals, restaurants. Those are the rest of our customer base, pretty evenly mm. distributed. Mm. Yeah. Which is great because more, more, more than ever now they need the tools and technology to help them with what's happening in the world, right? To, to yeah. market the businesses. Uh, do you see a, a spike uh, since like COVID? 
in certain verticals. Yes, in the verticals. E-commerce, for sure. Um, E-commerce has seen a spike. Um, also, local businesses just wanting more of a, a stronger digital presence, the ability to take payments and stuff. You'd be surprised. I mean, business owners, even just a year ago, only <laughs> accepted check, which was crazy. <laughs> but now, now they're embracing, like, we need to be able to take online payments. We need to be able to do those types of things. So that part of it's been good. You know, certain verticals like restaurants, they took a huge hit. We, have, we yeah. had a lot of them. We had a lot of gyms. Gyms got yeah, hammered. Yeah, yeah, fitness. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, but luckily the essential businesses kept cranking. So that was good. Mm-hmm. And do you find uh, what's a typical uh, like a lifetime value of a customer? I assume once they, they come into the system, they probably stick with you guys for a long, long time. Yeah, um, it's we have a six month window where it's essentially a paid trial. We have a six month agreement where mm-hmm. we try to understand if this is going to work for you. And if they make it past that, they stay a really long time. So the lifetime value is about for us right now is about forty one thousand for us. Mm-hmm. Mm. Um, which is really good. In the first six months, we our payback is in three to four months from mm. our acquisition costs, which is pretty good. So yes. if, if they stay at least six months, it's like a free trade, basically, coming from yeah. the trading industry. And after that, you just see the gains. Yes, yes. And then the, probably that's why the onboarding, the activation, that don't, I'm assuming it's very critical for you guys. Yeah, it's a pretty intense process, the onboarding, the activation. And then you know, with marketing, it's still a partnership. We can do the best marketing in the world and drive you mm. great leads, but you still got to dunk it in and close the deal. So if you're not clo- calling the leads and have a good sales <laughs> process, then yes. it's still not going to work. And so that's why it's kind of a discovery period. It is. It is. And, and the business owners, they might also need some some sales training on, on how to best convert those leads as well, right? Uh, all, yeah, all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>